We welcome you to the semi-final day, the semi-final day of the ECGC Island Sip Water SVG Community College Invitational Netball Competition. And we are here at the Villa Campus Court. Yes, the Villa Campus at uh, the uh, Community College, uh, our main campus here just outside of Calico, just before Calico and Villa, the Villa area here. We have uh, the semi-final one matchup between the Georgetown secondary. They are on court already in the green and white and the blue, uh, light blue bibs. And then the central Leeward secondary or the Barley secondary warriors, Barley secondary warriors, and they are in the blue and yellow. These are two of the uh, prolific teams in secondary school netball, and they are participating in our invitational championship here. Semi-final number one um, for the Georgetown secondary, we have uh, Samaya Connell as goal defense, Rafina Batiste, goal shoot, um, Janika Kwao, center, Makeda Fedrick, win defense, Gilda Small, goal attack, Davina Hoyt, wing attack, and Talia James, she is the goalkeeper. And for the um, Barley Secondary School, the Barley Secondary Warriors, uh, Kayla Miller is a goal attack, Shauna Brown, the goal shoot, the S Deontia Crease, wing attack, uh, Jafisha Aki, the center, uh, Alexander, just Jamelia Alexander, goal defense, Charity Gibbs, wing defense, and Zona Richards, goalkeeper. Here we go. It's with the Barley Secondary Warriors, with uh, goal defense, who is Alexander, and she is um, called infringement, Connor, cut. Uh, Connell takes it looking for um, Rafina but it goes out of court and so it's gonna be a throw in for the George Young secondary center takes it that's Kwao she gets it in trying to find Rafina um, Batiste but it's an obstruction against her coming away with it as a goalkeeper for um, the central lever, the Barry secondary, good uh, uh, piece of work there by Cornell. That's uh, Samaya Cornell to keep it in touch, but it evaded all of the players, and so throw in to be taken. And uh, umpire Foster Baines, uh, Foster is actually indicating where it should be taken correctly. And um, so the goalkeeper for the Barry secondary, that's Richards. She has it. She's looking for her goal. Uh, she's looking for Alexander. And that goes over third. Teams not that settled as they are a little um, late in terms of their start. But here we go. It's now uh, with the wing attack. She gets it into goal shooter for Georgetown. She goes up with a shot off the rim and goes out of court. And still yet to be broken the ice here in this first quarter. It's with Richards for uh, that is uh, central leeward to Alexander. Alexander looking. Not a good pass. Taken away by Connell. Connell finds Richards over trying to find um, Brown and that goes uh, that small that is and that goes out of court again it's now with Kwao, Kwao looking trying to find small, intercepted, falls into the part of Rafina Batiste she takes a shot, does not convert coming away with it is the goal attack goes out of court, no, controlled finally by the center, Barley on the attack looking to find a wing attack and there is an infringement. Let's see what the call is. It's against uh, George Young secondary taken uh, into goal shooter. Uh, that is Brown. Brown goes up with a shot and converts. So that's a false. The first shot uh, converted today. One. Uh, zero Barley secondary warriors they are leading wing attack now collects looking and trying to find Miller but it is against Miller coming over and around and contacting but a bad pass Miller takes it she's looking for Brown goes across to her wing attack wing attack into the circle now finding Miller Miller is gonna take a long shot let's see if it's good it rolls off the rim and there's gonna be a, a throw in uh, for the George Young secondary. Intercepted there by uh, the goal uh, shoot, Brown, for uh, Central Leeward. And it's now with Connell. Connell looking to find center Kwao. Kwao to her goal attack. She doesn't control. Alexander comes away with it for Central Leeward to the center. Center bringing it across, trying to find her wing attack. She had to fight very hard for that. And she was uh, contacting the wing defense, Frederick. 
And so a penalty pass taken now. Connell looking and finding Quau, her center. Quau into uh, Batiste. Batiste is looking back out to Quau into the circle. Now she goes and looking for her goal attack. That is small. Uh, very similar to her stature. She is small. She goes up with a shot and converts. I have with me Jada Patterson. She's going to be going into uh, do service for Central Lever just now. Jada, do you, you think you guys are thinking about a win this afternoon? Of course. Says, of course, it's one all though. It's one one. I make it one one, and so it is now going to be a. It's, it's another ball being collected. and converts Georgetown secondary they go two two goals to one they are leading two goals to one Georgetown secondary it's now with Central Leeward they find Alexander Alexander for Miller Miller into the circle good pass into small uh, into Brown Brown goes up with a shot does not convert there's a battle for it Miller takes it she finally converts this one and the scores are equal two apiece it's two apiece just about six minutes uh, remaining in this first period. It is now intercepted and make it by the goal attack. That is Miller. And so uh, to be taken uh, inbound pass, a throw in to be taken by the Georgetown. It's a, a call against a goal attack. Uh, Connell trying to find Small. She does good work, collects well, goes up with a shot, misses. But that was an excellent reception from an excellent pass by Connell. And uh, but there's an infringement. Um, Foster is now getting smaller penalty shot. She does convert, and Georgetown, Georgetown secondary, they lead now 3-2. First period in this first semi-final. It's now with uh, Central Leo finds their center in. Um, Aki, Aki is giving it away, comes up now to Small. Small is it goes over third. The call here uh, for uh, by the umpire. And so Alexander comes away with it for Central Leeward finding Aki, Aki to uh, Miller. Miller finding her wing attack back over to Miller. Miller is coming back out of the circle to Aki. Aki is bringing it into the circle, but there's a good tussle for it. Uh, the goal defense in Connell. She gets it now. She's looking for Small. She does so. Small into Quau. Quau brings it into the circle to Batiste. Batiste has a long shot. She goes up with it, doesn't make it, and goes out of court. And 3-2. The team's yet to settle this afternoon. Uh, this is a very important game. And as you know, they're going to be fighting 2-0. Um, they both will be playing some netball this uh uh, this afternoon and uh, tomorrow in the secondary school competitions. Um, I think there's a third place game this afternoon for the Georgetown Secondary Juniors uh, as they go up to small with another shot. Seniors, okay, the seniors are actually in the in the um, third place game this afternoon and their juniors, that's the Georgetown Secondary, the juniors, Georgetown Secondary Juniors would be in the final tomorrow. The Central Leeward Secondary, the Barley Secondary Warriors, they are in the senior final tomorrow of the secondary school competition. Uh, against the girls high school but this is the semi-final of the island sip ECGC SVG Community College Invitational uh, Netball Competition 2017, the 7th edition, uh, sponsored by the ECGC. And the uh, first period winding down, just about two and a half minutes remaining, according to the unofficial clock. 3-2, uh, the green, the green of Central, the green, sorry, of George Young secondary leading. Uh, Small gets it to Batiste. Batiste goes up and extends their lead to two. It's now 4-2, 4-2. Still in the second period, it's now with Quau. Quau looking and finding Small. Small back to Quau. Quau is going into the circle, uh, just uh, just on the edge of the circle. But he's looking for Quau, but good work by Aki. Excellent work by Aki, but she's called for footwork. And so it's with Quau. Quau brings it to Small. Intercepted uh, uh, partially, but infringing there is, I make it, the goal defender, the goalkeeper Richards into Small now. Small is going to take a long shot. Let's see what she does. She does not make it. And so um, the crowd is building up nicely um, as we get ready for two very important matches.
So it's now with Alexander. Alexander finds Aki. Aki, beautiful pass. Excellent pass to Miller. Miller was trying to find her goal shooting. Brown. Brown is not controlling. And so they go keep. They go keeper for um Georgetown is getting into Quau. Quau looking for Connell. Connell controls well. Beautiful pass, but could not control initially. It was uh, That was a not a control shot there by Batiste. Good movement down court there by Georgetown, but it could not convert. Alexander is trying to mount an attack here now for Central Leeward. It's back to Alexander. He finds Miller. Miller is looking for Aki. Aki eventually controls, <laughs> and she gets a good work in. And let's see that. Too much, too much trying to find Brown but off the hands the fingertips of Connell and so uh, and, uh, throw in there for uh, that is uh, just central leeward secondary tussling for it out of court it goes again and Connell controls 4-2 just 4-2 and a few seconds remain in this first period they're fat they're battling it's against Batiste and so Central Leeward can have an opportunity to to cut the lead seconds into the end of this first quarter Aki controls but she's uh, called for footwork again uh, Connell controls, not settled. Quau over uh, trying to find a wing attack. She does into Batiste. Batiste is uh, being to asked to take one shot. Doesn't score. Small tries to keep it in. Let's see what the call is. Goes off of. Um, seems like it goes off of uh, uh, the goal shooter. Uh, inbounding to. No, it goes off a goal defense. You're going to have the whistle. Small goes up. She converts. Uh, at the, bu the buzz of the end of the first quarter, Georgetown secondary, they're leading uh, five goals to two. Spectra Plus announces its expanded internet coverage in St. Vincent's and the Grenadines. We have two special packages which are our LTE fixed internet as low as $79.99 per month and our Air Fiber fixed internet as low as $89.99. Lviv Green, Lviv Green. That healthy drink is now available in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Here, just a few reviews. It is antioxidant enriched. It promotes cleansing of the digestive tract, contributes to liver, kidney, and heart health, and contains cardioprotective properties. For more information on Lviv Green, call 529-5339. That's 529-5339. Have you tried SVG's finest wines from Dave Roots? Dave Roots offers Nooni wine, tamarind wine, obis, and wines from fruits and herbs. 10% alcohol by volume. So when you're looking for the finest local wines, look for Dave Roots. Contact them at 784-593-1564 for more information or to order. The Racina Kidney Foundation Ottawa presents Christmas Colors on December 10th. It's Christmas again. Yes, come deck the halls of Maryvale Church, 1876 Maryvale Road, Ottawa, from 7 p.m. Admission $20, dress code festive. Door prices to be won. And music, parang, soca, and more from Ottawa's finest. David Supersound and DJ Kane, special guest DJ R. Rosmin, the master mixer, all powered by Ross Power. For the Racina Kidney Foundation's Christmas Colors, December 10th, Maryvale Church Hall, Ottawa. Parang, parang. Yes, indeed. The, the, the Rosina Foundation present a kiss Christmas colors on December the 10th. That's this Saturday coming at the Marvel Church Hall in Ottawa. We are in uh, in uh, 
the campus of the ECGC, uh, sorry, the St. Vincent Grenadines Comedy College, where they have in this the uh, quarterfinals, semifinals of the ECGC Island Sip Water Community College Invitational the Netball Championship going on, the semifinals game. And the game is between Bowery Secondary Warriors and the Josh Young Secondary School. They are on break now. They'll be coming back now shortly with the second quarter of today's game. Our our commentator this evening is Roxel John. The score is five goals to two in favor of Josh Young Secondary School. All right, so we're back. We're back. We're going to get into second quarter action. Second quarter action. And it's four goals to two, jo five goals to two. Josh Young Secondary leading the Barley Secondary Warriors. Josh Young, if you just join us, Josh Young Secondary in green and uh, blue with yellow. I belong to the students uh, from the lasses. Uh, from the Barley Secondary Warriors. So it's Barley with uh, a center. Now is Alexander. She gets it into Brong. Brong is going up with a shot, doesn't convert, goes out of court. And there have been a couple changes for the um, Barley Secondary. So we now have Jada Patterson in as a wing defense. The wing attack is Nakela Griffith and Galen John. John, Galen John is now the goal defense is with Connell. Connell comes across and is looking uh, for, ah, uh, looks like it was intercepted. It's against a goalkeeper, I was told. So the goal shoot Brown, is it? Yes, she's trying to get it to Miller, but taken away, beautiful pass. Wing attack collects, he's looking for, oh, excellent touch. Really good touch there by the goal defense. Um, that is John, Galen John. And she's fighting here. It's now Richards finds John. John is looking and finally Alexander. This is Barley secondary on the attack. Back to oh, not a good pass. Intercepted well uh, by Small. Small finds her wing attack. That is Hoyt. And Hoyt has been having a good game as well as John. Uh, but Patterson has gone in and made, she's good trying to make a change. Uh, a pass. Oh, the inter taken away. Uh, there's been a little uh, collision, but uh, she's fine. Into Hoyt. Hoyt collects well, but it's over a third is being called. Uh, again, um, teams not settled. They're rushing today. And um, again, the moment seems to be uh, getting the better of them. And the sun is really, really beautifully hot today. Yes, excellent day for the beach down at Bekwe or the Tobago Keys or something like that. You know, those beautiful islands of ours in the Grenadines. But we're talking about netball. ECGC, that's Eastern Caribbean Group of Companies, Island Sip Water. I'll show you what one of those look like in a bit. But Hoy trying to control again, this time stumbling. And um, the passes have not been well weighted as would uh, have come to expect from these two teams. And the jitters of a semi-final game in this big competition comes in now to find John. Gail and John looking for Alexander, who does good work. Beautiful pass, but intercepted well by Connell. And it's going to go out of court against the, uh, the Barley Secondary Warriors. Connell controls now just on the edge of the line. Let's see what she does. She's trying to find Hoyt, who does good work. Oh, the netball, the defensive netball is coming. It's really looking good, the defensive netball here. Um, as both teams try to uh, fight and wrestle the ascendancy here. Five goals to two. Uh, Josh Tung secondary against Barley Warriors. Warriors coming over with it. John, uh, Alexander Connor control. Q. That's a, a Quau trying to find Hoyt. Aim to Batiste. Back to Quau. Quau over but controlled by Richards. Beautifully. It's with Patterson. Patterson finds John. John looking and finding Alexander. She does uh, turn all the way around but gives it away to the wing defense. Uh, for Georgetown, tipped off, uh, but into the hands of Small. Small is finding, uh, trying to find Hoyt, looking and finding uh, Patterson. Patterson to John, John to Alexander. Alexander to, uh, that is Miller. Miller goes into the circle, and it is a footwork being called against Brown. Connell controls for Georgetown Secondary. They're leading. No goals yet in this <laughs> second period as both teams uh, seeming to be fighting and fighting really hard defensively. And they have been intercepting the final passes into the circle. And both teams are rushing the, the netball. It's a with Patterson. Patterson trying to find uh, Alexander. Put out of touch by Quau. 
It's again Patterson, and let's see what she does. This time she finds her wing attack. Her wing attack is Griffith uh, to Miller. Miller finds uh, that is Brown with a good pass. Brown goes up, does not convert. She's going to get a penalty pass or shot. She decides to take the shot, and it's good. So it is 5-3. 5-3, yes, we're just into the second period. This one is a given away. It's given away by the George Young secondary. And this looks like it's gonna come out to be a, a low scoring, a really enticing encounter as Griffith controls. Griffith looks and finds, uh, that's Quau. Quau to Hoyt. Uh, Hoyt not looking at the movement of uh, Batiste. And it goes out of touch into the little shrub that we have behind the court here. Richards controls. She's going to uh, get the throw in. She gets it to John. Gail and John looking for uh, Alexander. Does well. Into Patterson. Patterson over now uh, to Griffith. Griffith controls. And she goes uh, over the other side. Uh, <laughs> or the other side of the circle. Trying to find Alexander. It's against a goal defense. So Miller uh, this is Kayla Miller is going to take their shot, and she does. Uh, cuts the lead to one. It's 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four. Five, four. Uh, this way to Barley. Barley trying to get it to Griffith. John pulls it away. Uh, gets it now to Miller. Beautiful pass. Miller is going to go up with a shot. Does she convert? She doesn't. It uh, comes back to her off the tip of uh, Connell. She goes out to Alexander. Back to Miller. Let's see what she does. She goes up with a shot off uh, the rim. Uh, uh, Connell controls. Looking for Quad. Settling down a bit to Connell again. Connell back to Quau into play. Good into play into Small. Small cannot control. And so uh, Patterson gets the pass from Richards uh, to Griffith. Griffith. Oh, beautiful touch again. Uh, this time uh, by Connell. She's having a good game. And I need to let you know that she was the MVP of the tournament 2021. She was our um, sports personality of the year 2021. And she's here with the Josh Young Secondary. Island Sip Water. That's what we're talking about there. Our big sponsors. Our big sponsors. It's 5-4, John, uh, that's Griffith, into, I make it Alexander, Alexander, who's had a, a really difficult last week or so, uh, but here we go, it gets it into Griff, uh, that's Miller, Miller goes, steps and goes up with a shot off the rim, uh, Brown was trying to recover, Miller does good work to Alexander, Alexander to Brown, good net ball, she goes up with a shot, it's all tied up, it's five apiece, yes, not a lot, but it's been exciting, <laughs> Five apiece. This is the second quarter of semi final number one, the ECGC Island Sip Water, SVG Community College Invitational Netball Competition. Patterson, uh, John, Tella Alexander. Oh, taken away by uh, that is the uh, Griffith, I make it for. Well, the wing defense, there is a Frederick. I got it just, just mixed up there, but Patterson coming away with it for central. Excellently taken by Gail and John. John to Patterson. Patterson looking and finding Alexander. Beautiful pass into Miller, but Miller could not control. The ball, the movement now is getting better, and the play is really, really uh, looking uh, better. A penalty pass or shot, is it? Uh, it's a power penalty pass to Alexander. Alexander over to Miller in the circle. Miller steps in and gets a pass over. Well, attempted to pass it over to Brown. She comes away with a, a ball that is now bounced into her leg. She controls. She goes up and she does not convert. Brown takes it. The rebound and she scores. So it's six. Six five, Barley secondary, Barley secondary leading six five. Oh, uh, this is just the second quarter, and we expect it to get better. It has been better in this second period, and so here it is. Connell looking and finding the tall well, no intercepted beautifully, and then taking it away. Now is Connell. She's looking and trying to find Small, uh, but Richards comes away with it. Finds Galen John, who's been very impressive since she came in into Miller. Beautiful pass. Miller is trying to find Brown in the circle, just about half midway uh, to the to the rim, and she's stepping. Ah, again. Connell controls. They have not scored one in this in this quarter. That is a Josh Young secondary. She is looking to get uh, an addition to that. Uh, Gail and John decides to touch that one out of court. And I, I believe that she's playing as her name suggests. John. All the Johns are good. <laughs> it's with Quau. Quau over to Hoyt. Uh, this is uh, getting into Matisse. She is looking 
and she is being infringed infringement against a goalkeeper so it's small she's gonna control she steps in let's see what she does she just takes a shot all rim <laughs> well all net i should say through the rim the six all the only opportunity so far in this um uh, quarter and they have converted it's all at six all at six wait uh, i make it quiet quiet to batiste batiste swivels and she gets it back out to quiet back to batiste batiste is uh, gonna get a penalty pass or shot. she goes up with the shot misses uh, she's gonna get another attempt of a penalty pass or shot this time she converts and the georgetown secondary take the lead once more it's seven six seven six alexander taking a little while but eventually getting it to patterson back to alexander with a good reception into miller miller steps is she gonna score let's see she does it's seven all seven apiece with just about 13 seconds remaining in this second quarter it's small small finding quow josh on the attack to hoyt hoyt bounce passing this one but Patton has been the defensive uh pillar here for central leeward the time goes that's the end of period number two seven seven um uh, after we were five two at the end of the first period you are looking you're viewing and you're hearing the coverage of the ECGC Island Sip Water SVG Community College Invitational Netball semi final day. You're looking at semi final number one. Semi final number two will be against, uh, will be between, that is, the Associates Combined and the Division of Arts, Sciences, and General Studies year two. Two teams from the Villa campus. We'll be right back. Bay Hill News Network. We do Facebook live streaming for church services, funeral services, and sporting events. For more info, call us at 1784-529-8518 or 1784-534-3900. Looking for a place to relax with natural cool breeze and friendly surroundings? Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar, located at Bay Hill Cane Garden. We have everything a bar will have. We also sell shell 20 pounds of cooking gas at the Bay Hill Tree Bar. The Rosina Kidney Foundation Ottawa presents Christmas Colors on December 10th. Yes, come deck the halls of Maryvale Church, 1876 Maryvale Road, Ottawa, from 7 p.m. Admission $20, dress code festive, door prices to be won, and music, parang, soca, and more from Ottawa's finest, David Supersound and DJ Kane, special guest DJ R. Rosmin, the master mixer, all powered by Ross Power. <laughs> For the Racina Kinney Foundation's Christmas Colors, December 10th, Maryvale Church Hall, Ottawa. Parang, parang. Yes, indeed, we are back here at the St. Vincent the Grenadines Comedy College where they have the semi-final game in the ECGZ Island Sip Water Invitational Netball Competition here at the campus here in Annesville in Glen. So they are now into break for the second quarter. They soon be returning to the third quarter and the scores right now uh, they are on seven apiece between the Barry Secondary School Warriors and uh, the Josh Dung Secondary School so this is uh, the first of the semi-final games going on right now at the at the plane we here soon we be again we join in a commentator um that's roxel john he is a commentator and we soon be joining him for continued coverage as they come back into the third quarter i just heard the whistle blow so that means the game soon be back on
So we're back. We're getting ready for the third quarter action. It's getting down to the crunch time in semi-final number one. Uh, the one change, Barley Secondary Warriors. They have um, the Deoncia Crease now in the goal shoot with the goal shooter bib. They are on the attack looking, but oh, beautifully intercepted by Con intercepted by Connell. It's now with uh, that Esquire who gives it away. Alexander finds Galen John, who does good work to recover a bad pass initially, and it goes out of touch, out of court, as you would say, a netball. Throwing now for the Georgetown secondary. Seven all. It's now with the goalkeeper. She is uh, pushing this one out of court. Too much uh, there by the goalkeeper, James. Talia James. And so it's now with the wing attacker for... Uh, that is... Uh, Central Leewards, uh, a good pass into Crease. Crease goes up, does convert, uh, taken away by Connell. Uh, as far as Quau, back to Connell. Connell is looking, she's finding Quau. Quau is going over, uh, trying to go over Patterson, but uh, controlled by Small. Small to Quau. Quau is uh, getting a pass into Small, and it goes out of court. So Small is going to have the throw in into Quau. Quau bounce pass it into Small. Small controls. She is looking to go up. A little too close. And so she gets a penalty pass. A shot she passes beautifully to Batiste. And they takes the lead. That's Josh Young secondary. They lead 8-7. to seven, uh, Period number 3 in the semi-final number 1. ECGC. Island Sip Water. SVG Community College. Invitational. Uh, netball semi-final. Semi-final day. This is semi-final 1. Small is stepping. Yes. Yes. Uh, footwork there by Small. And so it is now... Uh, penalty pass for the Central Leeward Warriors. Richards looking to find Alexander. She's in a tussle. Let's see what happens. It finally goes out of court and it's going to be in favor of George Young secondary. Connell gets it to Quau. Quau to Connell. Connell is looking and Connell gets it back to Quau. Quau is looking for Small but taken away by Jada. That's Gail and John. John finding Miller. Miller is looking. Goes over to the, 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 the far end into Alexander. Alexander good pass. To Miller. Miller goes up, doesn't convert. Crease controls off the rim. A little not enough on that, but one as it is now back into Miller. Miller is gonna get a penalty pass or shot. She takes the shot and she uh, now pushes the score again to be tied. It's an eight all, eight all. Uh, Patterson for Central Leeward trying to find Alexander. And so it is uh, throwing off the touch of one of the, the players uh, from the Joshing secondary. So the wing defense, Gibbs. Gibbs gets it to Patterson, back to Gibbs. Gibbs is looking and goes across court and finds uh, Alexander with a good pass to Miller. Miller collects beautifully, goes up, doesn't score, but under the rim, collects his crease, and they uh, push the central leeward Warriors up to nine. I think this is their first lead uh, for the entire afternoon, and uh, George Young secondary looks as if they are getting a little rattled. Period number three, the sun is beautifully and shining out. As you can see, it's now with John, beautifully into Patterson. Uh, Gibbs was uh, pretending to be a goalkeeper there. Nice little touch, uh, but it's now with Alexander. Beautiful pass into Miller. Miller goes up, doesn't convert, a little short. Comes off and is infringement against Miller. So... It's with Talia James. James is trying to get it out, but she's going to get a penalty pass. Intercepted, and so here we go. She comes now, finds Quau. Josh Young secondary trying to equal things up here. Uh, into Small. Small steps up and scores. It's a really good shot by Small. Nine all. It's all tied at nine. Yes, believe you me. <laughs> Third quarter. Tight tussle here, Patterson, over to Alexander, central leeward on the attack, uh, and taken away by uh, Connell, beautifully played again, into the wing uh, defense, that's wing defense for the Georgetown secondary, uh, Frederick, Frederick is looking, but she leaves the pass to uh, Connell, Connell to Quau, Quau back to Connell, Connell is going um, offside, uh, she attempted to balance and stay on position, but she couldn't. 
And this is going to go down to the wire as they're all tied up on nine apiece. Semi-final number one. Here we go. It's Jada Patterson not controlling. Comes away with his Hoyt. Hoyt is looking, trying to get it into uh, Batiste. There's a good tussle there by, Wh by Richards. It goes out of court. Uh, off of Richards. Small gets it into Quau. Quau is going to get a penalty pass. She gets it over to... No. Doesn't. It's against the goal shooter who just stood there. So Richards is controlling. Gets it to Jada, pa Jada John. Uh, Gail on John, that is. Oh, Quau does good work. She's been working well today. The center for uh, George Tom. Touching that one out of court. It's with Patterson. Patterson looks and finds Gail on John. John is looking to find. I make that Griff uh, uh, Gibbs. Gibbs uh, is uh, into Miller. Miller goes up with a shot. And this one hits the rim. Comes off. Uh, Connell looking around. Finds her partner in crime. That's Quau. Back to Connell. Connell is again looking to find Quau. They do... Uh, work together quite well into small who attempted to collect it's against uh, uh, small however and richards controls gail and john pushing in the action here now for um pushing the action for that is central leeward but it's against the center in this case alexander connell comes away with it for georgetown Georgetown secondary, North Winwood la Lasses against the North Leeward Lasses in this semi-final. Uh, none of them are able to, uh, to move too far away. Uh, small gets a shot. She's small in, in stature but big at heart. And she converts another one for Georgetown secondary. Uh, they lead now 10-9. Into Small. Small is looking. Finding, oh, trying to find Hoyt. It's against... Um, uh, Patterson, so Small is going to get uh, the pass into Quau, uh, looking for Small. Richards takes it away. Uh, she's called for footwork, however. And so penalty pass here for George Young Secondary. They, are, they have edged ahead. 10-9 uh, to Quau. Quau is looking to Batiste, but gives it away. Patterson can't find anybody and eventually finds, uh, that's John. John finds Alexander into Miller inadvertently. Inadvertently finding Miller and Miller is actually converting. That pass was, was, was intended for Gibbs, but Miller got on the end of it. It's 10 all. We're just under three minutes le left in this Third period. Gibbs looking around, finds Alexander for Central Leeward. And Miller is, uh, well, it was great getting into Miller, but called against Alexander. Uh, giving away now. It's against Small. So Gail and John takes it. She oh, trying to find, beautifully intercepted by Gibbs. Gibbs to Connell. Connell controls. And she goes into the circle, but into the hands of Gibbs, who, into the hands of Richards, who is stepping. <laughs> Batiste has it, brings it into uh, Batiste again. She's going to get a penalty pass, a shot, it takes a shot, converts. Josh John goes up one more. 11, 11, 10, 11, 10. Gibbs finding Batiste. Batiste is a uh, call for, well, that's Hoyt, call for footwork. Jada Patterson, she spoke to us earlier, and she is trying to, uh, to get the pass into uh, Gibbs leaves it now is Gail and John. She controls. She finds Miller. Miller over to Gibbs. Gibbs is looking and finding Miller. Does she know? Intercepted by Samaya Connell. Connell looking for Gibbs. Beautifully taken. Uh, this one she couldn't control. But there's a tussle in the air. Small comes over with it. Finds Hoyt. Hoyt uh, trying to find Small. Uh, Richards is fighting hard. She taps it into the air. Into Alexander but stolen. Oh, it's all getting a little erratic a little too fast, a little too quickly, a bit on on uh, 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 uncontrolled play, and finally out of touch. You can hear the coach is getting a little irated as Gail and John controls. She cannot keep that one, and um, so it's a penalty pass here. Let's see a shot that can be taken. A penalty pass, correct? Into a Quau. Quau looking for small, small collects well. She takes a shot, doesn't convert. Gail and John puts it out of court. 
Just about 40, uh, 41 seconds remaining in this uh, third period, 11-10. Yes, believe you me, that's the score as it comes down to Alexander, to Galen John. Uh, Central Leeward, uh, uh, Barley secondary on the top, but taken away. Samaya Connell finds Batiste. Batiste is looking, uh, but gives it away to Patterson. Patterson uh, to Richards. Richards to uh, John. John controls, looking for Alexander, and stolen by Connell to Quau. Quau over, but taken away by Richards. And again, Hoyt is fighting, and fighting really hard. A little tussle there. On the ground goes... Um, the goal shoots. And the time was called. Um, uh, so that's the end of the quarter. That's the end of the third quarter. Uh, it's been exciting. Bottle of scoring, a lot of defensive work by the teams. They are rushing and uh, playing as hard as they can. This is, this is the nature of the game at this level. Um, they've been quite def well defensive um, in their defensive work. The, the shooters seem not to be getting the ball as often as they should. And when they do, um, the conversion rate has not been as high as they would like them to be. But it's a tussle, and it's very, very close. Just one, one goal separating both teams. Leading right now, Georgetown secondary against the Barley secondary Warriors. Uh, Jada, I don't know if she wants to come in the mic because they're not doing well at this stage, but we'll speak to her uh, some others thereafter. It's 11.10 with 10 minutes to go. Yes, indeed, you have been just into coverage of the game between the Barley Secondary Warriors and the Josh Song Secondary School in the ECGC Island SIP. St. Vincent and Grenadines Community College uh, Invitational Netball Championship here at the campus here at the Community College in uh, Glen. Uh, as soon as we are ready for coverage, we will return to you until such time. We invite you to listen to this program. It's being sponsored by the Bay Tree Bar, the um, Rosina Kidney Foundation, Dave Roots, SVG's Finest Wine, Lviv, and Spectra Plus. Looking for a place to relax with natural cool breeze and friendly surroundings? Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar, located at Bay Hill Cane Garden. We have everything a bar will have. We also sell shell 20 pounds of cooking gas at the Bay Hill Tree Bar. Bay Hill News Network. We do Facebook live streaming for church services, funeral services, and sporting events. For more info, call us at 1784-529-8518 or 1784-534-3900. The Rosina Kidney Foundation Ottawa presents Christmas Colors on December 10th. It's yes, come deck the halls of Maryvale Church, 1876 Maryvale Road, Ottawa, from 7 p.m. Admission $20, dress code festive. Door prices to be won, and music, parang, soca, and more from Ottawa's finest. David Supersound and DJ Kane, special guest DJ R. Rosmin, the master mixer, all powered by Ross Power. For the Racina Kinney Foundation's Christmas Colors, December 10th, Maryvale Church Hall, Ottawa. Parang, parang. Yes, indeed, we are back here at the campus of the St. Vincent and Grenadine Community College with. Uh, Fourth quarter of the first game between the Barley Second and Warriors and so the, the final ten minutes of this uh, semi-final number one. It's been exciting. It's been low scoring, and it's going to go down to the very last few seconds of this game as the whistle goes for the commencement of period number four. Uh, Patterson cannot control. Goes out of court. A very early turnover by the Central Leeward, uh, well, Barley Secondary Warriors. It's now with Quau. Quau trying to find kind of Small, and she cannot control. Uh, so here we go it's now with Richards let's see what he does Richards finds John 
John into Gibbs, back to Richards. Richards looking and finding uh, Kayla Miller. Miller is looking to find Alexander. She does so, gets it into, uh, that is uh, Crease. That is, um, but out of court it goes. And so it's gonna be a throw in for <laughs> Josh Young secondary. Connell gets it. And she is doing some gardening at the same time. She brings it into Quao. Quao is looking and brings it over, trying to find a wing a defense in Frederick. Still a few more turnovers here. It's 11 10 with eight, nine minutes remaining. Patterson finding Galen. John, John over, trying to find Miller. It's against uh, Alexander. And so it is now with um, goal defense. She gets it into Quau. That's a George Young secondary. They're leading by one. Looking to find Small. That goes out of court. As our cameraman is getting some issues. <laughs> but I know the second camera is up and running. <laughs> <laughs> the wind is high, the sun is high, the defense is high. Don't know what else is going to be high this afternoon. As Miller is, uh, Jamelia Alexander is stepping. Yes, oh my word. 11 10. It's now with the center. Quau. Quau finds J Small. Small takes a shot, a good shot, extends the lead to two. The first time in a long time, the lead has been more than one. It's now with Connell, Josh Young secondary on attack to Quo on the attack, gets it uh, trying to find Small, goes out of court again. And um, it's really, really serious action here. Riches is going to take the inbound, well the throw in that is. She does now, Pi finds John, John is stepping. Uh, 10, 12, 12 to Josh Young secondary. They're looking for the 13, but taken away by John. Let's see what happens. It's against the goal shooter. So it's with Richards. Richards to John for central leeward. Finding Patterson. Find Patterson looking for Alexander. Does so. Alexander to Miller. Miller is going all across the uh, circle to uh, that's Alexander again. Back to Miller. Miller is finding uh, uh, that is Alexander into Miller. Miller decides to step in and takes a shot. She doesn't convert. Taken away. It's now with uh, Connell. Connell to uh, that's. Uh, Quau, back to Connell, looking for some help, into the goal shoot, stolen by Richards, and Richards is being called for stepping, <laughs> and so there's a penalty pass, pass taken, Small goes up, doesn't convert, oh, Patterson comes away with it, finds Alexander, who doesn't control, but uh, gets it back into touch, only to the hands of Connell, Connell is trying to find, uh, that's a uh, oh, great pass by Miller, into Crease, Crease converts, Oh, that was an excellent passage of play. And the scores now 11 12. 12 to Central, 12 to Georgetown secondary, 11 uh, to the Central Leeward secondary, or they're better known as the Barley secondary warriors. Let's see what happens here. It's against the center for Georgetown. And so Alexander takes it. She's looking and she fires. No, it goes through three hands. Comes away with it as Connell to uh, Gibbs. Uh, uh, no to Connell. Connell had to jump very high for that one. She's looking to Batiste. Excellent pass under the rim. She converts. Batiste in pain, but pushing her team forward to forward. 13 11. It's now with Connell. Connell looking and finding. No, she doesn't. Touched away there by Patterson. Out of court it goes. And. Uh, it's 13-11, five minutes remaining, taken away by John. John is looking and finding Alexander. Alexander is trying to find, that is the wing attack. Uh, Connell controls, over to Hoyt. Hoyt is trying to find Small who controls. She goes up and takes the lead to three. It's 14-11. Georgetown secondary, leading the central leeward secondary, F halfway. Halfway into this quarter, here we go. It's with Alexander. She is contacted. Oh, so she gets a penalty pass. She gets it in. Oh no! Good work there by James, taking it away. Hoy comes up. She gets it to Batiste, but touched out of court. Batiste is trying to keep her stability. She does so now, and um, 
It is going to be a throw in for Georgetown Secondary. They are leading 14 11, final quarter. Uh, four minutes odd to go. It's with Hoyt. Hoyt finding Quau. Quau is looking. Bongs passing beautifully into Batiste, who converts the 15th. It's a four goal lead for Georgetown Secondary. Yes, it is. Believe. Or not, Connell controls, looking, but only into the hands of Richards. Richards finds Gibbs, Gibbs to Alexander, Alexander to Miller, Miller under the, under the rim. She converts, no she doesn't! Oh! What a miss! It's with Connell. Connell is uh, called, being called for footwork, uh, first, uh, I believe first time for the evening. Gibbs takes it. Let's see, she brings it now to John. John to Miller, uh, Alexander that is. Alexander to Miller who steps in. And she goes up with a shot, doesn't convert. Kreese attempts to keep it in, does not. It's time, it's time slipping away for the Barley secondary warriors. It's with Connell. Connell intercepted well there. And it's against the goal attack, however, Miller. And so that's James. She brings it over to Connell. Connell slows it down to Small. Small back to Connell. Connell is looking, finding Quau. The game has lost some of its thing as the lead is about four. Uh, with just under three minutes remaining, it was Richards. Richards looking for Patterson. Patterson to Alexander. Alexander to Gibbs. Gibbs to Miller. Miller to Alexander. Alexander back to Miller. Is she going to convert? She goes up, doesn't. And that has been the, the, the sole point of the game for the Barley Secondary today. Uh, they have been in good positions, but they have not been able to convert, although the defense has been working well. In, led by Gail and John. Into Patterson. Patterson to Alexander. Alexander Alexander to Crease. Crease, oh, the movement of Miller was not read. And it goes out of court. 15 11, Georgetown secondary on top. Uh, there with Quau. Quau looking and finding. Is she? No, it goes out of court. Out of court. And so Central uh, will try to um, mount an attack. Finds John. John over to Gibbs. Gibbs controls finally. She cannot keep that one. Replay is called. And so it is now with Connell. George Tong settling down. Uh, Connell from James. James. Connell to Gibbs. Gibbs to Small. Small to Hoyt. Into Batiste. Batiste converts! <laughs> oh my! It's 16 11. Batiste injured but playing well. It's now with, uh, that is uh, Crease. Crease is getting into Miller. Miller has another opportunity. Let's see what she does. She steps in, but Bunks passes it right into the, the feet. And it is against Miller. Footwork called. Now with uh, Gibbs. Uh, this is Quau. Quau is called for the three seconds. As they try to slow things down just a little too much. With Gibbs, uh, now for Central Leeward. Into Miller. Miller over to Crease. Let's see what Crease does. Crease is called for stepping. Infringements galore in the circle for uh, the Central Leeward secondary. The Barley secondary warriors. Their defensive third have been doing some excellent work. But the offensive work in the circle has uh, not been up to standard for them or by their expectations. And so they are going to be struggling in the last minute or so. Again, give it away. Uh, control now by Miller, who is uh, including the defensive work into her attacking work. Brings it over to Crease. It's against Connell. And so there's going to be a penalty shot or pass. Crease takes the shot. Crease does not convert. We've been seeing this a little too often uh, for the Barley secondary warriors. And this is now with Hoyt, uh, who gives it away eventually. Jada Patterson controls over to Alexander. Alexander is trying to find Gibbs. She does. Gibbs into the circle. Uh, Miller controls. Excellent work to Crease. Crease is called for stepping. Oh, Connell into oh, a small back to uh, that's Quau. Quau trying to find Batiste. Beautiful pass into Batiste. And she does not convert. But the game comes to an end. 11, 11, 16. Georgetown Secondary have pulled off a stunner. They will play the final on Friday at 2 p.m. And the Central Leeward Secondary will come to play the third place game at 1 p.m. That was semi-final. Semi-final number one. Exciting. 
a lot of good defensive work. Uh, some better work could have been done on the offensive third, uh, but eventually, eventually, uh, what has happened is that the Central Leeward Secondary, they were defeated by the Georgetown Secondary, uh, 16 to 12, 16 to 12, and that was a good uh, display of the defensive work by the teams. Uh, some more could have been done on the offensive half, but that's the nature of the game today. Um, so, we're getting ready for semi-final number two. Hey, coffee lovers, wow, it's an awesome way to start the morning. Nothing more than a cup of the Tonkat Alley coffee. Yes, we're talking about maximum performance in all aspects of your life. Are you talking about the bedroom? Performance is guaranteed. What about at the gym? Performance is guaranteed. What about you at your office at this point in time? Performance is guaranteed. Tomcat Ali, get yours today. The Racina Kidney Foundation Ottawa presents Christmas Colors on December 10th. It's Christmas again. <laughs> Yes, come deck the halls of Maryvale Church, 1876 Maryvale Road, Ottawa, from 7 p.m. Admission $20, dress code festive. Door prices to be won, and music, parang, soca, and more from Ottawa's finest. David Supersound and DJ Kane, special guest DJ R. Rosmin, the master mixer, all powered by Ross Power. <laughs> For the Racina Kidney Foundation's Christmas Colors, December 10th, Maryvale Church Hall, Ottawa. Parang, parang. Good afternoon, and we're back here at the Villa Campus Court. We're now with the, uh, the semi final number two. We have pink and black against red and white. Red and white and Miller. 
goes up with our first shot that is the division of art sciences and general studies year two they are playing the associates combined they are in pink and um so we are going to refer them to associates combined and dags year two associates combined in pink gets a first attempt uh the converted there and that is gold shoot nanton nanton converts it's with jackson for uh, associates trying to find uh grant gets it back to jackson looking to find nanton bounce passes finally she goes up with a, a second shot converts and the shooting so far has been good in this game and so it's two to nil it's sergeant sergeant looking and finding the wing attack now finding miller miller is trying to get it over to uh, miller again shoots a beautiful shot uh, and we must say the miller uh, has been part and parcel of this investment grinding senior team um so the goal shoots Zanel James and they're, they're playing against some young bucks who are uh, budding players uh, for that uh, uh, national unit as well. National goalkeeper, female, that is Marsha Marshall, gets it into uh, Guy. Guy now to Sergeant. Sergeant finding uh, this is Tony. Tony to Miller. Miller gets it into uh, that is James. James is going to convert. Is she? No, she does. Yes, she does. It is two all. Very quickly it's equalized. Two all to all uh, sergeant takes it now she's looking for her wing attack in um batiste well, that goes out of touch it's now with a goalkeeper for associates combined giving away uh, that's a james james taller and uh, stronger miller gets a shot converts and they take the lead now that's the division of art sciences and general studies year two it's with jackson jackson looking and finding a uh, grant grant back to jackson beautiful pass looking now to find grant a yeah, good pass by jackson into grant grant goes up converts uh, beautifully uh, done uh, and it's three all the shooting in this game has started off really well sergeant to guy guy back to sergeant dags here two on the attack looking for miller miller is in a tussle she controls finally leaves it for batiste back to uh, james james is going to take a long shot she doesn't convert and she it goes into miller miller converts four three and james is saying that that's a pass but let me see how that goes we'll, we'll have to go into the the review grant takes it a good pass into O'Nanton does not control for sure hands and comes up now to sergeant sergeant is called for footwork and so Odisha Grant, she's going to take uh, take the pass, gets it to Jackson. Jackson is looking and bounce passes into Nanton. Nanton is going to get a penalty pass, a shot. She gets a second attempt at it uh, and it's all square, four apiece. In this semifinal number two, Dags here two, they in red against the pink associates combined team with Batiste. Batiste is called for stepping, a turnover now. It's with the goal defense there that's Reed Reed is giving it away this time a good pass into James uh, James controls this time is a shot and this time it's converted and they go up by one five to four five to four center pass the uh, associates combined they get set to grant this time a little too much on it cannot uh, uh, read it in it's now with Guy. Guy is looking uh, and trying to find Tony. Tony touches it into uh, Sergeant, eventually trying to find Miller. Out, uh, just outside the circle is James. She controls and she goes up with a shot, converts. Six, four. Uh, Dags here too, speeding away. And they, they won this encounter to 40 31 in the, the preliminary rounds, but uh, they're looking to, to have an a, a even more competitive game here as it's taken away by the goalkeeper. Finding now a swing, the wing defense. That's Jackson. Jackson into to, to Grant. As Tony uh, slaps it away into the hands of Marshall. Marshall to Guy. Guy is finding Sergeant. Sergeant is looking for Batiste. Batiste is going over an uh, excellent pass into James. She She's gonna go up with a shot. She's gonna convert. It is seven to four. Seven to four. And uh, uh, Dags here too. 
They're looking as if they're gonna uh, walk away with this. They played, they played unbeaten. Tony, I can't expect that was Tony, but that's a good work by Tony. Into Sergeant, Sergeant to Miller. Miller is trying to find James and the shorter uh, defensive players of the Associates combined struggling uh, to, to, get, to work against the, the, the tall, stocky defense, the attacking player of the Dags here. They are on the attack. It's 8 4 Dags into Miller. Miller goes up with a shot, converts. 9-4 nine, 9-4 four. Nine, four. As the associates would like to make sure they get on a trot. This one to Nanton, touched out of court uh, by I uh, make it Marshall And so there's going to be a penalty uh, throw in that it's a throw in for the associates combined <laughs> Well, um, losing a the concentration there is a center for uh, uh, that is associates. So there was a penalty pass. Tony has it for Dax. She looks to find Sergeant. Sergeant over to Batiste. Batiste into uh, Marshall. Marshall is being uh, given a penalty pass or shot. She is going to take the penalty shot. She converts. No, she doesn't. This time it comes away. Let's see what the call is. There's going to be a, a throw in for the associates combined. The goalkeeper is. Uh, Jeez, and that is too close a pass, so it's now with Sergeant. Sergeant looking for Miller. Miller gets it on the, the rim, does convert on this occasion. And from being 2-0 down, they have pushed themselves to a commanding 10-4 lead. This is quarter number one, still in quarter number one. It's with Miller. Miller, oh, intercepted beautifully there, finally. It's now with Jackson. Jackson to her wing attack, looking to find Grant. Grant gets the rebound, finally, to Morris. Morris is not going to get that one. Overboard players out of court. And it's going to be a throw in for the Division of Arts, Sciences and General Studies year two. So piling on the pressure of the Dags here too. Um, <clears throat> it's against Tony. A call for obstruction. And Sir Jackson takes it for the associates combined into Grant. Grant is getting a goal. Attempt of a good pass. But the defense of the Dags here too. Read it to Jackson. Jackson to Bunks passes into Grant. Grant goes up with a shot. Off the rim. Out of court. And... Uh, just about a minute and a half remaining in the first quarter. Commandingly leading this one. Uh, the ladies in red. The Division of Arts, Science and General Studies, year two. And this one is Jackson trying to find Grant. Grant recovers. And she's going to go up with a shot. Converts. 11-5. 11-5, they will have to do some stopping of some of these um, center passes for the Dags here too. It's with Sergeant who throws it away. So this is an opportunity for them to even cut the lead a little bit more. Into, oh, guy giving away to Miller. Miller can't control. The goalkeeper comes over with it, finds wing defense. She is giving that one away, just throwing it wildly in this occasion. Center sergeant gets it over to Tony. Tony to Miller. Miller to, ja to James. James is going to go up. She's going to convert. And it's 12, 12, 5, 12, 5, 12, 5. And uh, out of court again as the clock winds down in the first period. Commanding for the Division of Arts, Science and General Studies year two. It's with Batiste. Batiste finding Miller. Miller over to James. Easy connection for her. She goes up. She converts. No, she doesn't. Oh, it rattles out the rim. Goal attack doesn't. Oh, oh my word. What is happening here? And uh, it is a conversion to end the first period. I have it as 13-5. 13-5. 13-5. 
13 5 at the end of period number one of semi final number two we are bringing you coverage of the ECGC Island Sip Water SVG Community College Invitational Netball Competition this is uh, the penultimate day the semi final day the championship games would be on Friday right here and we'll we expect to see the representatives from our invaluable sponsors the ECGC and Island Sip Water we'll have some representative from the SVG Netball Association President Batiste and a few other of our, her um, team should be here and we're gonna have a wonderful evening on Friday starting at 1 p.m. and uh, with the third place playoff then the final at 2 and the prize given in ceremony right there after Looking for a place to relax with natural cool breeze and friendly surroundings? Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar, located at Bay Hill Cane Garden. We have everything a bar will have. We also sell shell 20 pounds a cooking gas at the Bay Hill Tree Bar. Bay Hill News Network. We do Facebook live streaming for church services, funeral services, and sporting events. For more info, call us at 1784-529-8518 or 1784-534-3900. The Racina Kidney Foundation Ottawa presents Christmas Colors on December 10th. It's Yes, come deck the halls of Maryvale Church, 1876 Maryvale Road, Ottawa, from 7 p.m. Admission $20, dress code festive. Door prices to be won, and music, parang, soca, and more from Ottawa's finest. David Supersound and DJ Kane, special guest DJ R. Rosmin, the master mixer, all powered by Ross Power. <laughs> For the Racina Kinney Foundation's Christmas Colors, December 10th, Maryvale Church Hall, Ottawa. Parang, parang. Have you tried SVG's finest wines? From Dave Roots, Dave Roots offers Nooni Wine, Tamarind Wine, Obis, and wines from Fruits and Herbs. 10% alcohol by volume. So when you're looking for the finest local wines, look for Dave Roots. Contact them at 784-593-1564 for more information or to order. Yes, indeed. We are about ready for the second quarter of the ECGC Island Zip Water. Uh, St. Vincent Gwendolyn's Community College Invitation Netball Semi-Final Game 2 between Dogs Year 2 and Associates Combined. Uh, the players are ready to take the field and we await our commentator, Roxel John. So we're back. Quarter number two. There's one change. Gibson comes in for uh, Associates Combined. They're down by seven, by eight. And But it's Tony controls for Dags here too. She's looking to find Batiste. She does into Miller. Miller is going to get an easy conversion. Is she going to make it good this time? She does. Uh, and so it's 14. 14-5. 14 uh, as Jackson takes it. Finds um, Nanton. But Nanton cannot keep it in, in court. And so a turnover very early when the Associates come team would have wanted to uh, just uh, take that one and uh, get a good start to the second quarter. It's with Sergeant getting an easy ball in. Uh, there is a call. Let's see who's a call against. Uh, James is not. It's against Dags. No, it's, it's against the... Uh, it's against the goal keep, but she refers, she controls, she gets it to Jackson, Jackson into, oh, gives it away, Tony controls, over to Sergeant, into James, James this time, no, no back problems, 
Uh, she controls again and takes a shot. We spoke about that. It's a goalkeeper now trying to find Jackson, but uh, good work again. Goalkeeper uh, controls. This time she converts. She takes a time and gets a good shot. Tony intercepts. This time it's being called for too close of an interception. And so goal defense finding uh, Gibson. Gibson to. Um, J Grand Grand goes up, doesn't convert. Brought back in by Marshall to Gibson. Gibson marks her spot and goes up with a shot. She converts. It's 14 6. 14 6. Center pass to the Division of Art Sciences and General Studies here to Sergeant uh, Tibertis. Back to Sergeant. On, uh, on, on contested passes there by Dax here too. And this time it is going to be a pass for Miller. Miller takes a step. She goes in. She goes up. Converts. Penalty pass a shot. And she took the shot. 15-6. 15-6. Now with Jackson. Jackson to Gibson. Gibson looking for her sister. Doesn't control. In the netball that is Jackson. Coming away with the sergeant. Looking for Batiste. Batiste into Miller. Miller is going to get an easy attempt again. Does so. Good ball movement. Uh, controlled ball movement. Coordinated ball movement by the Division of Art Sciences and General Studies. They power their way up. Uh, 16 to 6. Uh, Miller to find James. The defense seems to have turned off here uh, for Associates combined and is going up to 17. 17 uh, to 6. 17 6. Jackson to Gibson. Associates combined. Are they going to be able to mount an attack and bring this one back? Uh, it's Grant trying to find uh, Jackson. She goes up with a shot. Uh, bubbles off out of court. And uh, really difficult going. For the, for the team here, the associates combined, they're shorter and not as agile as the others. And that's the Dags here too, and not as experienced either. Uh, Batiste gets a pass, I think she was uh, contacting. Yes, a call, infringement call against a goalkeeper for the associates combined is Francis. Francis finding Jackson. Jackson to the goal defense in Reed. Reed uh, to the wing attack a wing the wing defense in peters losing it there but it's with guy guy is looking and comes across court finds uh, batiste batiste into james excellent pass james goes up doesn't convert uh, unlike games uh, so it's francis controls gets it to jackson jackson to nanton can they pull one back here the associates combine jackson uh, to gibson gibson to uh, grant who keeps it in touch uh, and he gets it back from Jackson into Grant. Grant uh, gets it under the, 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 the net and converts. It is 17 7. 17 7. The Division of Arts, Sciences, and General Studies here, too. They are leading. The associates combining pink and giving it away there. Just getting a little sloppy at the dogs unit as uh, Gibson takes it but is being contacted. Tony controls. Find Sergeant. Sergeant is trying to get Francis. Francis slaps it across, but he says she's offside as Francis. Sergeant to James. James, a uh, uh, well weighted pass into uh, that is Miller. Miller controls and converts 18 to 7. 18 to 7. Uh, Associates combined. Trying to get even closer again. This one is to Grant. Grant is under some serious pressure. Doesn't control. Converts. Is she collecting? Yes, she does. Good pass. A quick pass uh, to uh, Gibson. Gibson is not shooting. Taken away uh, by Grant. Uh, to Gibson. Gibson without shoes. Converts. And it's 18 8. We're not hearing anything from Mr. Howard. Oh, he says bear. All right. <laughs> the, the biggest supporter of Gibson. But here is James. Oh, Inter Miller uncontested under the rim. Excellent netball here by the Division of Arts, Sciences and General Studies here too. And they've been commanding. They've been commanding this tournament. They have not lost a game. They have even had games where teams have refused to come to play them on the last, the last day of the preliminary round. So that will tell you. And here they're defending well. That's Marshall Marshall. Into Guy. A guy is going to be called, yes, 19-8. 
It's with Jackson. Jackson finds Gibson. Uh, Gibson to Jackson. Jackson looks inside, finds Gibson. Gibson uh, to uh, Odin Chagran to does beautifully. That's a good shot. That's what they need to do more often. 19-9. They need to take advantage of the turnovers. Uh, they, they're not going to get many. Uh, when they do so, they're going to have to do that. Sergeant gets a ball into James. James is called for stepping this time. Yes, we could have seen that one. Francis gets it. She is getting it to Jackson. Jackson Bungs passes into uh, goal attack uh, Gibson who is infringed and so a penalty pass coming the way of uh, the associates combined they are in pink if you're just joining us as Reed takes it finds uh, uh, that looks like uh, Ballantyne into Jackson, Jackson to Grant, Grant pass it, passes it into Gibson she converts it's 1910 is there a way back is there a way back for the associates combined? Francis has it, finds Gibson. Gibson trying to find for, uh, Jackson. She does. Into uh, that is Grant. Grant is now taking a shot. She converts. Uh, the lead now goes down to eight. 19 11. 19 11. And uh, are we seeing a comeback? It's now with Sergeant. Sergeant uh, getting it uh, into James. Uh, Miller. That's Miller. Miller goes up. Converts. She's having none of this. She She's saying we need to keep that uh, momentum going and she pushes her team up it's 2011 uh, to Jackson Jackson to Gibson Gibson is uh, uh, intercepted is uh, obstructed uh, being called now she gets it over to Grant Grant is gonna convert yes she does 2012 or 2012 the second period of this game the first game was 1611 uh, after four quarters this is 2012 and we're just uh, a few seconds away from um, the halftime uh, whistle as uh, James takes a rebound she goes up uh, got Miller takes a rebound from James and it's 21 12 with just under one minute remaining I make it it's uh, being slapped away too close by Tony Tony is being very aggressive today uh, Tony is playing aggressively in the Sun very aggressive as Tony today in the sun. She ties, she pulls her socks up as the pass into a Gibson. A beautiful pass into Grant. What does she do? She goes up, goes off the rim, out of court. And it's uh, going to be a throw in for Dags year two. Here we go. It's away. Tony who cannot control. Oh, beautifully done there by Jackson. Into Gibson. Off the rim. Marsha controls. And this one is controlled now by Sargent. Let's see what she does. She finds Miller. Miller is looking and getting it to Batiste. Batiste over to Guy. Guy goes in air to Miller. But good work by the goal defense. A Guy controls finally to Sargent. Sargent is called for footwork. And it seems as if they're getting a little bit more aggressive, the uh, associates combined. It's with Francis. Francis looking and finding Jackson. Jackson to Gibson. Gibson to Jackson. Jackson is looking and finding Nanton. Cannot control, but into the hands of uh, uh, Grant. It's now with Jackson trying to pass to uh, beautiful work by Marsha Marshall. Extremely well done in the defense. Hey, over there into James. James goes up. What does she do? She converts. And it's 22 to 12. 22 to 12. And we're into the closing seconds of this um uh, second quarter it's gonna go off now there it goes that's the end of the quarter 22 12. Spectra Plus announces its expanded internet coverage in St. Vincent's and the Grenadines. We have two special packages which are our LTE fixed internet as low as $79.99 per month and our air fiber fixed internet as low as $89.99 per month. Have you tried 
SVG's finest wines from Dave Roots. Dave Roots offers Nuni wine, tamarind wine, obis, and wines from fruits and herbs. 10% alcohol by volume. So when you're looking for the finest local wines, look for Dave Roots. Contact them at 784-593-1564 for more information or to order. Behill News Network. We do Facebook live streaming for church services, funeral services, and sporting events. For more info, call us at 1784-529-8518 or 1784-534-3900. The Rosina Kidney Foundation Ottawa presents Christmas Colors on December 10th. It's Christmas again. Yes, come deck the halls of Maryvale Church, 1876 Maryvale Road, Ottawa, from 7 p.m. Admission $20, dress code festive. Door prices to be won. And music, parang, soca, and more from Ottawa's finest. David Supersound and DJ Kane. Special guest DJ R. Rosmin, the master mixer, all powered by Ross Power. <laughs> For the Racina Kinney Foundation's Christmas Colors, December 10th, Maryvale Church Hall, Ottawa. Parang, parang. Parang, parang. Parang, parang. Yes, indeed. The Rosina Kidney Foundation has a present to you the Christmas colors on December the 10th at the Marval Church Hall in Marval Road, 1876 Marval Road in Ottawa. Coming up this Saturday, this Sunday, as we continue with our coverage of the ECGC Island Sip Water, St. Vincent and Grenadines Community College uh, Invitation and Netball championship the qualify uh, the semi-final game the second semi-final game between uh, associates combined and dogs year two the school right now uh, dogs year two is on 22 points and the associates combined on uh, 12 points uh, we are getting ready to restart the, st the third quarter of the game from here live uh, from the St. Vincent Grenadines Community College uh, um, campus in Glen. Uh, our commentator this evening is Roxel John. Yes, indeed. And we are here from BehaNews.net as we bring you live coverage of this post. Remember this evening's uh, program and uh, this coverage is coming to you with the compliments of the Behail Tree Bar. Uh, the Rosina Kidney Foundation, Dave Roots, SVG's Finest Wine, and uh, Spectra Plus. As we heard the whistle, and it's time to get back to the game. Continuation of the game, we're back in, we're now in into the third quarter of this final semi-finals game between Dags Year 2 and uh, Associates Combine as they're about to take the field. We turn now over to commentator Roxel John at the campus. And we're back into the third quarter uh, of this uh, second semi final ECGC Island Sip Water SVG Community College Invitational Netball uh, 2022. The entity that's been with us for seven long, lovely years. As this one goes into the circle for the Division of Art Science, uh, no, that's Associates combined, bubbles off the rim and comes up coming away with it. Now it's Tony who has now taken the goal defense bib and it's now into Batiste, Batiste to Miller. Miller enjoying her, her um, netball as you can see, into James. James goes up and after a couple bounces on the rim goes down. And uh, so they lead 23-12. They're walking away and strolling into the finals unless the associates combined could come away with uh, uh, some, some seriously miraculous work in this uh, uh, second half of the game. Don't have a, a strong support this afternoon, but they're still working. It's Miller. Miller gets an uncontested pass almost and takes a shot 24 12. The score is quite efficient up there, going up really quickly. 
And we are bringing you live coverage via the Vinci Views SVG Bayhill News Network dot net. Okay, Bayhill News Network dot net, and um, I think we're being uh, carried live in Canada on Kankadi Radio. So, saying uh, good afternoon and uh, good evening to Vin and the crew up there. Thank you so much for continuing your support of our program, and to the, the, the people in the diaspora looking and yearning for some content of sport and St. Vincent Grenadines. Yeah, you could get it from Bayhill News Network dot net. Yeah, the score goes up as we gave you a little bit of ad advertisement there. 24-12, 24-12, it's with uh, the uh, uh, associates combined. Granted, let's see what she does. She takes a long shot. Bubbles off the rim again. Oh, it's now with uh, Batiste finding Miller. Miller over to Sergeant. Sergeant is getting it to James. James is going up with a shot for the 26th goal. She controls with one hand, gives it away, and stolen, stolen there by Miller. But not, uh, uh, not what should be done. It's now with Jackson. Jackson is stepping. Oh, the opportunities that uh, they are giving away here. Touched away by Francis. Francis does uh, good work to touch that one away. Uh, but it is still down by all of 13. James takes the inbound pass, gets it to Miller. Miller is taking uh, a penalty shot. Converts 26 to 12. 26 to 12. This is uh, semi final number two. Georgetown secondary one, semi final number one, 16 11. And now with wing defense, uh, that is Guy. Guy is looking for Batiste. Batiste controls after a while, gets it to Sargent. Plain simple, uh, but very effective. Uh, aesthetically pleasing here this afternoon. Uh, the Division of Arts, Sciences, and General Studies as James goes up, bounces once. And they extend their lead to almost an unassailable 27-12. Jackson uh, to Reed. Reed back to Jackson uh, to Grant. Grant is getting it into uh, Gibson. Gibson is, is going to take a penalty shot. She does so now. Misses. And it is going to be a penalty shot again for Gibson. Just waiting to ensure that all goes well. And uh, she converts, is he? Yes, 13, 27, 13. Uh, Sergeant, uh, controlling the center court for a dag. She gets it back and from Batiste. She finds Batiste once more. Batiste goes into the circle. Uh, good pass again into James. James uh, is all net, 28, 13. 28-13. I want to thank the officials from the St. Vincent Grandines Netball Association who have been officiating these games. Uh, scorers, umpires of the rim. Gibson, I don't know. Uh, that was a, a pass from Gibson but to herself, it seems. <laughs> of the rim. It is 14 <laughs> 28-14 <laughs> as this one goes into Miller. Miller finds James. Francis not putting up a hand to a contest. This one bubbles around a few times and goes down. 29-14. 29-14. Beautiful, beautiful weather here in St. Vincent and the Grandines. As the associates combine, try to keep the score as close as possible to Gibson. Uh, Gibson gets it from Grant. Let's see what she does. She takes a shot off the rim. She comes around, steals it. And she brings it to uh, Grant. Grant back to Gibson. Gibson controls and converts. 29-15. 29-15. Sergeant to Miller. Miller is called for stepping. An opportunity to cut the lead by one more. Associates, Reed finds, uh, try to find Grant. Goes out of touch. It's now with uh, Gibson. Gibson comes across court to looking to find Patterson. She cannot control. She goes offside. As a goal defense, uh, Tony takes it for the, the Division of Arts to Sergeant. Sergeant to, uh, that's Batiste to James. James goes up, converts another attempt. 30 15. They are walking away. With this game, they're strolling away with the semi-final number two. And he gets it to Jackson. Jackson to Gibson. Gibson back to Jackson. And into Gibson. Jackson again. She is going to try to get it into Gibson. She does not control. 
and out of court it went. Guy continuing to pile it on. Sergeant trying to find Miller. Eventually gets to Batiste. Back to Miller. Miller allows it to bounce and gets it uh, over uh, to James. She's going to convert. She does. 31-15. 31-15. And time is slipping away for the associates combined. Uh, being commandingly and commandingly strong uh, are the associates combined at this stage. James uh, now being a little, little, little untidy. And that one slides off her hands and goes out of court. Just under three minutes remaining now in this third period. 31-15, dominant, dominant performance by the Division of Art Science and General Studies year two. Jackson gets it, finds Gibson, but leaves it for Grant. Grant goes up with a shot off the rim into Gibson. Gibson goes up now and converts 31-16. 31-16. Gear contact against Tony, a penalty pass, a shot, uh, the shot is taken and converted. This is 31-17. Uh, extremely uh, big contrast between the two semifinals. Low scoring and strong defense in the first. This one high scoring and um, excellent ball movement and shooting by uh, the, the, <laughs> the goal shooters and the goal attacks. There's a Miller tried to attack to, to steal at one to Patterson, Patterson to Gibson, Gibson to Jackson, to Patterson, uh, to Jackson. Jackson is looking to find Grant. Grant is getting it over to Jackson, uh, to Gibson, to Jackson, back to Gibson. She steps in and she goes up, doesn't convert. Controlled now by Grant, who decides to convert. It's 31-18, 31-18. Closing minutes, closing minutes of this uh, first quarter. So this is the third quarter as Miller gets another attempt and she converts it and makes it 32-16. 32-16, not as competitive as the first game they played against each other. And so preparing well for this one is the Dags here too. 37 seconds remaining. It's no way to... Uh, that is James taking a shot, but taking the rebound now is uh, Miller. She converts 33-16. 33-16, closing seconds of the third period in this the semi final two. We're talking about the Eastern Caribbean group of companies, Island Sip Water, SVG Community College, Invitational and Netball Competition 2022. As another one is missed by the Dags here, uh, the Associates combined players. It's against the goal attack as the third period comes to an end. 33-16, commanding, commanding, commanding lead by Dags Year 2. Yes, indeed, we just have the finishing of the third quarter of the ECGC Island Sip Water in yeah, St. Vincent Grenadines Company College Invitational Netball Competition, the second semi final game between Dags Year 2 and Zosis Combine playing here at the campus in Glen. And this evening's coverage is completed with the compliments of the Bay Hill Tree Bar, Dave Roots, Rosina Kidney Foundation, and Spectra Plus.
Looking for a place to relax with natural cool breeze and friendly surroundings? Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar, located at Bay Hill Cane Garden. We have everything a bar will have. We also sell shell 20 pounds of cooking gas at the Bay Hill Tree Bar. Looking for a place to relax with natural cool breeze and friendly surroundings? Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar, located at Bay Hill Cane Garden. We have everything a bar will have. We also sell shell 20 pounds of cooking gas at the Bay Hill Tree The Racina Kidney Foundation Ottawa presents Christmas Colors on December 10th. Yes, come deck the halls of Maryvale Church, 1876 Maryvale Road, Ottawa, from 7 p.m. Admission $20, dress code festive. Door prices to be won, and music, parang, soca, and more from Ottawa's finest. David Supersound and DJ Kane, special guest DJ R. Rosmin, the master mixer, all powered by Ross Power. <laughs> For the Racina Kidney Foundation's Christmas Colors, December 10th, Maryvale Church Hall, Ottawa. Parang, parang. Looking for a place to relax with natural cool breeze and friendly surroundings? Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar, located at Bay Hill Cane Garden. We have everything a bar will have. We also sell shell 20 pounds of cooking gas at the Bay Hill Tree Bar. The Racina Kidney Foundation Ottawa presents Christmas Colors on December 10th. Yes, come deck the halls of Maryvale Church, 1876 Maryvale Road, Ottawa, from 7 p.m. Admission $20, dress code festive. Door prices to be won, and music, parang, soca, and more from Ottawa's finest. David Supersound and DJ Kane, special guest DJ R. Rosmin, the master mixer, all powered by Ross Power. <laughs> For the Racina Kidney Foundation's Christmas Colors, December 10th, Maryvale Church Hall, Ottawa. Parang, parang. So the final period of this uh, second semi-final to James. James Convert continues to push her team forward. It's 34-19, 34-19. And so <laughs> uh, associates combined have, 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 have really had their work cut out. Tony Conchos has a good interception uh, into Batiste. Batiste finding Miller. Miller to Sergeant. Excellent pass. Beautiful pass. James is going to convert. No, she doesn't. Oh, it's against the goal attack as well. So Francis controls. She gets it to Reed. Reed is stepping. Right, so here we go. It's now with uh, a sergeant looking and finding James. She has a time chance to redeem, but a good pass into uh, Miller. Miller converts a 35th goal for the Division of Art Sciences and General Studies, year two. And uh, 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 it's against Miller. Uh, uh, she's stepping into, uh, eventually gets to the wing attack, gives away. Marshall, Marshall controls. Beautiful pass to Tony. Tony to Sergeant. Sergeant to James. James uh, to, to Miller. That is uh, Tony. Tony into James. James does not convert. Uh, gets it back now, but it's now with Reed. Reed finds Patterson. Patterson to Gibson. Gibson is looking for someone free, looking to find Jackson. It goes out of court. 
and uh, I was keeping Peters, Peters, I was Peters. So there's some a little confusion now as the, the, the game peters off into a very strong commanding win for the Division of Arts, Sciences and General Studies here too. Can uh, the associates pull back anything out of this? Uh, they're not going to do it that way with uh, errant passes like those. And so Marshall, Marshall has been excellent in the defensive third for uh, the uh, Division of Arts, Sciences and General Studies. She inbounded and it's now with Tony. Tony gets it, looking and finding the wing uh, defense uh, into center. Uh, Sergeant to Miller. Miller converts. And that's the 36th goal to be scored to by the Arts uh, Year 2. Division of Arts, Sciences and General Studies Year 2. Jackson uh, to Grant. Grant is back out to Jackson. Looking to find no bad pass uh, taken away by Tony Sa Batiste to uh, James James to uh, uh, Sergeant out of court it goes and it would be a throwing. So it's now with um, uh, the associates combined, a uh, penalty shot taken by Gibson. She converts as a 20th goal, 20th goal for associates, 36-20. Is now with Sergeant into James. James is bounced pass in this one into Miller. Miller controls off balance but scores. 37-19. They enjoying their, their, their game here. They are commanding their win. And they are definitely doing a good work. That one is intercepted by Tony. Uh, Tony, in, uh, that's uh, Sergeant into Miller to James. Again, another pass. She's on the court. Let's see what is the call. It's against Dags here too. So Francis controls. That's what she does. She gets it over to Peters. Peters to Jackson. Jackson is looking uh, to Gibson. Gibson to Jackson. Jackson is once again trying to get into the circle. She does and leaves it now. Uh, that's Grant to uh, um, Gibson who converts. 21 uh, their total so far. 37-21 as the time runs away here for associates combined but for the division of art sciences and general studies here too they are just cruising now because they have done the hard work they did the, the hard work in the very first quarter and a half so to speak and they have been cruising since then as, as this passes gets back to miller they're having some fun uh, into james james goes up and converts it's 38 21 uh, it's going to be an interesting encounter between the Georgetown secondary with their tall defensive players and the Division of Arts, Sciences and General Studies Year 2 uh, in that uh, final on uh, Friday. And it's also going to be a good encounter because between Central Leeward and the Associates combined for the third place um, unless some miracle happens in uh, this last four minutes, which we don't foresee because another one goes uh, into the bucket, not by James, but by... Uh, but by Miller, who has an uncontested second attempt, 39-21, 39-21, Sarge Batiste to Sergeant, Sergeant looking and finding inadvertently, it goes out of court it seems, yes, is out of court, so that wasn't a good attempt, uh, that was not an attempt that was going to be counted into Jackson comes off to Patterson Patterson finds a free Gibson Gibson trying to find Peters back to Gibson Gibson into the circle to J to Grant who should have taken a shot and this one is an inbound pass for associates to Grant Grant to Gibson Gibson is well positioned and the scores 39-22 39-22 Jackson again to Gibson. Gibson is looking and this one is a bad pass but put out of touch by Marsha Marshall. 
and comes across now to Grant. Grant is taking a shot, comes off the rim, comes back to her. It's against Tony. Tony is going to get a penalty pass. Uh, no, uh, that's um, Gibson getting a penalty pass uh, 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 and taking it, converting it. And uh, her biggest fan uh, is, is fan is keeping uh, the, uh, the the cheering going. Reed controls, looks for Gibson. Gibson is getting across to Patterson, giving it away to Miller. Do to James who moves over to Sergeant. Sergeant is looking to find uh, Miller. Out of touch it goes. 39-23 with just under uh, three minutes to go in this encounter. This is semi-final number two. And we are talking about none other than the ECGC, Eastern Caribbean Group of Companies, Island Sip Water, SVG Community College, Invitational Football, uh, Network Competition. <laughs> As Grant scores one. As Grant scores a really good one. And takes their total up to 24. And this is a semi-final day. Tomorrow, there's some netball in the senior division of the secondary school. You could read all about it on the uh, sports blog page. And uh, all the results and some images of this afternoon as well. That uh, one goes up. Uh, and so um, another uh, four, 40 is no, 25. 39.25, just about a minute and 50 seconds remaining. Inter James, this is, is this the 40th? Yes, it is. The 40th goal, uh, second consecutive time. They've scored 40 goals against this unit. And so this time with a little bit more command because it was closer in the first three quarters. This one to Grant who does well. Oh, uh, controls now is uh, Gibson. Grant is getting across to Gibson again. Gibson is this time stepping and uh, uh, just uh, is uh, now taken by Sad Batista. Tony, Tony looking and finding Sergeant. Sergeant goes across and gets it to Miller. Miller easily into uh, James, James is going to get a penalty pass or shot. She is going up. She doesn't convert. The rebound is taken by the uncontested Miller. And so it is another score. 41, 41, 25. Much more commanding than the last game. They're looking for a 42nd. Let's see if this is going to be it. Yes, it is. 42, 42, 25. 42, 25. Ah, out of court it goes. 42 25, 37 seconds remaining on the clock. Into uh, that is Gibson who controls finally. And uh, she's going to get a penalty pass or shot. She's asked to come back a little. She goes up and doesn't convert. Cuts the rebound, however. And she converts on this occasion. No. And there's. A fight, a tussle for it. Goes out of court. Uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's going to be the clock. There it is. The clock is uh, oh, 42 25. Division of Arts, Sciences, and General Studies, year two. They have commandingly uh, taken their place into the final. They are yet to be beaten. And um, the closest uh, encounter uh, was in the preliminaries against, I believe, the George Long secondary, subject to correction. And so we are going to have a big, big, big final next, next Friday. Well, not next Friday, on Friday. On Friday, the Division of Arts, Sciences and General Studies year two, they will come up against the Georgetown Secondary in the final. That will be a 2 p.m. encounter. But before that, at 1 p.m., uh, the Associates Combined and the Central Leeward Secondary, or the Barley Secondary Warriors, they are going to be um, meeting in the third place playoff. Then we will have uh, the, fi the final presentation of awards and prizes for the tournament. Yes, you've been live. We've been bringing you live streaming. You've been getting the commentary. You've been getting the videos here on BayHillNewsNetwork.net. And you can find all the results on Sports Block SVG this afternoon. You can also remember that you can catch the finals here live on the Hill News Network, Kankadi Radio in uh, Canada as well. Uh, so we want to have wish you all a good evening uh, until Friday. Thank you very much, Mr. John. You have just been witnessing the second of the semifinal game of the ECGC Island Sip Water.
St. Vincent Grenadines Community College Invitational Netball Competition here at the campus in Glen. And in the final game played this evening, uh, Dags here yeah, two defeated. Uh, the associates combined 42 goals 25 so dogs will be into the finals on friday while associates combined will meet george tongue in the third place playoff you've been listening to behenews.net uh, live coverage of netball this evening coverage will come to you with the compliments of the behe tree bar dave roots svg finest one lviv and uh, spectra plus so we take you back to master control where we will continue our local programming here. Looking for a place to relax with natural cool breeze and friendly surroundings? Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar. Located at Bay Hill 